Hello and welcome to O Worm. Today we'll be doing something a little different. We'll be doing an organ dissection. More specifically, the kidney bean. Kidneys are great. I call them the breeder filters of the human body. They filter around 45 gallons of blood per day, which is enough blood to fill a small bathtub. The kidneys serve two main functions. The first function is to remove nitrogenous waste from the body. The second function is to maintain the electrolyte, acid base, and fluid balances of the blood. The waste that is produced is then stored in the bladder as urine and later expelled from the body. So let's take a look at the kidney. Some people describe the average kidney as being as big as a cell phone, which is helpful because it gives you zero information. Like, are they talking about a Blackberry or a Samsung Galaxy? I find it more helpful to say that your kidney is roughly the size of your fist. So this is a sheep kidney, but it's very similar to a human kidney. Kidneys come in pairs, one on each side of your body. Each kidney has about 1.5 million blood filtering units called nephrons, but people only need a minimum of 300,000 nephrons to filter blood properly. Because of this, you can get one of your kidneys removed and function just fine. However, what's interesting is that for children born with only one kidney, the lone kidney grows until it has the combined weight of two. Your body likes to be redundant, I suppose. So let's take a look at some of the structures. You'll see three pipe-like things attached here. The one that is most covered in fat, so this one, will be the ureter, which is the long tube that takes the urine from the kidney to the bladder. Looking at these other two, the thicker one is the renal artery, which takes blood into the kidney, and the thinner one is the renal vein, which carries blood out of the kidney. Now let's take a look at the internal anatomy. I'm going to take a scalpel and cut it in half like this. Just cut all the way around in multiple strokes. Now you can open it up like a book. Now I'm just going to move one half of this away, and we'll just look at this half. Now this outer beige layer is called the cortex. I'll put a pin in here to mark the area. So right here. I mentioned before that the functional unit of the kidney is a structure called a nephron. So the blood first enters a nephron here in the cortex through a structure called the glomerulus. The glomerulus is kind of like a sieve. It catches many things in the blood, like red blood cells or larger proteins. Around 20% of the fluid in the blood passes through the glomerulus, and then is called the filtrate. The filtrate enters the Bowman's capsule, which is basically just a cup that surrounds the glomerulus to catch whatever makes its way through. After that, it passes through another segment called the proximal tubule, after which it enters the loop of Henle. The loop of Henle is a literal loop, and this is where we get into this reddish layer below the cortex called the medulla. I'll put a pin here too. There we go. The loop of Henle is basically where the body goes, whoops, we overshot, and takes back a lot of the water and ions from the filtrate. So the loop goes a bit like this. It loops around and makes its way back here. Okay, so. The reason why this part is darker is because 85% of nephrons have loops of Henle that are short and only reach up to there. Like this. These are called cortical nephrons. The other 15% are called juxtamedullary nephrons and have loops of Henle that reach all the way down deep into the medulla, like this. You can also see that the medulla is divided into triangular structures. So you can see one here, there's a triangle. Here's another triangle, and here's a third one. These are called the renal pyramids. The white area in the center of the kidney is called the renal pelvis, not to be confused with the bone pelvis. So I'll put a pin here. After going through the loop of Henle, the filtrate passes through a structure called the collecting duct, which then all drains into the pelvis. The renal pelvis is a hollow structure and it's basically a funnel for all the collecting ducts. From there, the urine passes out through the ureter to the urinary bladder. I'm going to turn it around so you can see a bit better. So I'm going to follow one of the side branches of the pelvis as far into the cortex as possible using a metal probe. 
So you can see a side branch of the pelvis here. Right, so that's the end of the kidney dissection. Thanks for staying, lads. Here's a fun fact about kidneys to send you on your way. If you get a kidney transplant, chances are that the old kidneys won't be removed. Instead, the new kidney is just placed below the old kidneys and is surgically connected to the nearby blood vessels and the bladder. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more.